Hey YouTube, what's up? Welcome back to another episode of Jazzy Time with your host Bailey. How is it going everybody? Um, again, I'm going to apologize about not posting for two weeks. I did so many videos in October. I just kind of wanted to give you guys a break from my face. Um, also, I'm still healing from like all the iron I had to go and get and you know, it gets into your bones and it really makes it hard to move your hands. So I am now all infused with iron and ready to go and do more art. Uh, so, um, like I said on the Nailween um, video, I have some not, I don't know if it's like modern art or what, but it's just like black, red, and white art. Um, I found... Again, another one of these things come on my feed and I just thought they were so beautiful, but don't have the patience to wait for them to come in the mail. Um, so I wanted to recreate these um, hand painted, of course, for you guys. Um, I do change up um, some of these images. I will post my little uh, screenshot here. And it's just a set of uh, water decals from um, an AliExpress store. Um, so I have a couple of them that I've already hand painted on myself because they were just so pretty I had to do it. Um, so this first one I'm going to do Little Girl on a Railing. I don't know what I'm going to call it yet. You guys will know by the time this video is out. So um, without further ado, let's just get into that. All right, hey, bunny hands. Okay, so it's uh, like I've I've already done two of these images, um, hand painted on myself. Um, I am using some white stiletto swatch sticks. I wanted to change it up from the tiny little squares. Um, I have just buffed the surface, and I'm going to use three simple colors: black, red, and white. And um, I've got all my nail art brushes out, uh, just in case you know I need maybe a thinner line or something. So I have a five, seven, and nine millimeter long brushes. I'm mm. um, just gonna open up my colors here and get them out and ready to go and put them on my tiles so that I can grab them. So yes, okay, so. I'm going to start with Sheila. This is a seven millimeter detail brush. Um, and I'm going to start with the little girl's dress. And now we obviously have to make this image um, fit the nail. So it's going to look a lot larger than the smaller decal in the picture, as well as, you know, the, the one that I painted on my nail. So proportion is different. You always have to kind of pay attention to that. So I am first, um, trying to proportionize her lovely little dress and it's just a little um kind of like the top of a uh, wine glass i guess you could say and then it flares out nice and fluffy so i'm going to get her dress all colored in and we'll move on to the next step I also wanted to add here, um, you guys can kind of see how I am pulling my brush through and really letting the bristle sort of flatten out. Um, and in doing this, I'm cre sort of creating like a motion or like a ruffling sort of effect in the dress to give it a little bit more um, dimension. Um, so I did cure her dress for 30 seconds there. And now I'm going into the black and I'm going to add a little black waistline. And I'm gonna add some texturing as well. Um, sort of like, I guess, ruching, you could call it. Um, I'm just gonna 
pull down and let the color kind of fall out of my brush just to give me that effect of the ruching in the dress. I'm not using too much color here because something is going to go in front of it. Um, one thing I find um, people ask me a lot and slash struggle with is um, creating depth in a picture and you always have to sort of know in your mind how to break that down and I'm kind of showing you guys this in these um, next few nail arts that um, are coming up here, all these black, reds, and whites, because there's a lot of dimension in these. So that's what we're, we're just creating depth and dimension. Um, so now that I've done the skirt, I am now doing the top of the uh, iron rail that she's leaning on. So I'm doing uh, two straight lines, just like so with the black, uh, making them a little thicker, gonna go a little darker with them. They don't have to be perfect because we know we're gonna mess them up with some other lines and stuff like that. So I'm just trying to get that as even as possible or to my liking. Trying to make it look like the thicker rails of an iron fence, I guess. And then I'm going to take my brush and I'm going to dabble some black up in the sky like this. And I'm using my finger to tap it out to give me sort of a foggy uh, cloud look in the background. And then I'm going to flash cure for 30 seconds. And before I flash cure, because I completely forgot, I'm adding just a little uh, sort of swirly marks to make it look more like clouds. And then I also, or sorry, I flash cure for 10. And now I'm going back in with the black once again. And I'm going to completely load my brush. Like so, I like to turn turn my brush and my color. And now I'm going to create the um, iron rails on the fence that she's leaning on here. So we're just doing, I'm doing two even little arches. Just like so. And then trying to make it proportionate to the nail I change up the design in the fence because I also don't want to lose the picture by you know putting too much over the dress you know what I mean I'm still I still want that depth but I don't want to lose the picture if that makes sense um so I'm just sort of creating my own little fence design I guess, just trying to make it look like an elegant little fence. Okay, so now that I'm happy with the fence, I am doing uh, just two little birds, flying birds in the sky that um, appear to be, you know, distant and tiny. Um, I usually just do two little sort of like triangular lines, just like so. And then I cure that for 30 seconds so that I don't wreck any of the black marks that we just did. And now I'm using a little bit of white just to mark off um, her elbow and forearm. And uh, I'm going to make her hand drape down 
in front of the fence just like so and you don't have to worry about like you know doing individual fingers and that because it all just kind of falls together um, and then I also have like her other arm which is sort of outstretched off the nail if that makes sense and then I'm gonna take a little bit of black and I'm going to uh, add some shading to her arm So I have cured that again for 30 seconds and now I'm going in with the black again and I'm going to load my brush up and I'm first going to start with um, sort of the outline of her face and I am starting with the, the, the one bang that's sort of just a little over her forehead and then the other side of her face that's sort of clear and then I connect the two at the chin kind of like it's almost kind of like you know she's bored and just you know sad and you know hanging off the fence um so now i'm outlining her arm and her hand and i'm going to just continue and add the dimension and shading that is needed to bring her hair and face basically to life um almost as if it's just her hair is just sort of softly flowing in the wind and she's just leaning on the fence all sad i don't she almost seems sad or bored in this image but i i really enjoy this image uh so whoever is the original artist um i really wish i knew who it was because it's literally just a set of decals so yeah um i'm pulling through the black here to um make it look as if she has blonde hair um and we're doing really dark at the roots at the part of the hair and then i'm sort of bringing that down like so and yeah just adding proper shading and then i will add her facial features and we will top coat afterwards and be finished Okay, so I have matte top coated and I'm just giving it a wipe. And I love the way this turned out. It looks so great. And just comparing again to the proportion, you know, it'll always look different on a different size nail. So anywho, I hope you guys please like and subscribe. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And I hope you guys all stay tuned and stay jazzy.